John had 16 more beads than Peter at first. After John gave Peter 20 beads, Peter had four times as many beads as John. How many beads did John have at first? So there's a transfer happening here, John giving Peter 20 beads. Now notice that this is what we call an internal transfer. Okay, because this transfer happens between both boys, it's within the both of them. So in the internal transfer, okay, most of you should think of something that remains unchanged throughout, something that remains the same throughout, which is the total bits. Okay, total bits no change throughout the whole scenario. This is unchanged. Now, however, for this question, we do not have any idea of what is the total bits. Okay, notice that the, throughout the whole question, they only give you this word 16 more bits than Peter. Then in the end, they just tell you Peter four times as many bits as John. You don't have any actual information on total bits. All right, so for this question, if you use the before change after method, it is not so helpful. So rather than doing that, we should use the model method instead. Because somehow you have all this comparison with uh, 16 more, and you have to work four times, which is another form of units comparison. So a model would be more um, applicable in this case. Okay, so we're going to go on to draw the model. So start off with John 16 more than Peter. Like this. Now for, for a model that involves internal transfer, it will be a bit, more tedious to draw it out as compared to the external transfer. Okay, so be very careful with how you draw it. Make sure your model is long enough. It gives you more allowance to do your labelings, to do the transfer and things like that. You don't end up cramping everything in one small area together. Okay, so John gave Peter 20 bits. So we're going to take out 20 bits, take away 20 bits from John, which means we need to shake off 20. Now to shake off 20, of course, you have to include the 16 in it as well. It has to be part of the 20. So your 20 should be somewhere like that, this long. This is your 20. Cut down a dotted line and you can shade it off. Remember to do your shading. All right, because when you shade, later on you can easily identify where is, which part is your in the end, which part is your at first. All right. Now, this 20 bits, don't, don't forget, Yes, we shake off, but we have to also transfer it over to give to Peter. So which means that Peter's current model have to extend. I have to use dotted lines to do the extension. Make sure the size of this shaded part is similar to your extension part here. Okay, they should look somewhat the same in size. So this is your 20 that you brought down. You can even draw an arrow to show that. So draw an arrow down to show the transfer. Now, let's look at what happened in the end. In the end, Peter had four times as many bits as John. Peter had four times means Peter had four units in the end. Now, Peter's units, uh, sorry, Peter's model in the end, this whole thing is in the end. Can I easily cut it into four units? You realize I can't. It's difficult because of this extra 20 here. It's, it's, it's going to be um hard for me to cut it into equal parts. Okay, so you do not need to cut. You simply need to just label 4U and 1U for each of them. Of course, John, in the end, is just this one, right? The white color portion. This is your one unit. Whereas Peter, this whole stretch will be your four units here. Okay, so you see, this is how I managed to label it for you, 1U neatly without um, having to further cut the model. Okay, which makes things even harder to solve if I really do so. Right, so this is way simpler and neater. Now, from then on, from here on, what we're going to do is we are going to work out the difference in units. So Peter, this whole stretch is for you. John, from here to here is 1U. So the difference between both of them will be from here all the way to the end. Imagine you're running four units worth. Your friend has run one unit worth. The remaining three units will start from here and it finishes off here. Okay. Now, and your 20 minus 16. So why are we doing this is because we want to find out this part. Okay. So the three units, I'll talk about it later first. We follow this first. 20 minus 16, your four will be over here. Okay. So this is your four. 
You can even bring down this four. Okay, so this is where your three units comes in. Four U minus one U. This is your three units. For some of you, you might want to do this. You might prefer to extend this down and write out the four here, which is fine. Okay, you can even write down the one U here. This is one U. So then I think it might be easier for you to see that this three units from here all the way to here, which is this part, your 20 and four together. Okay, so to find three units, simply four plus 20. So you don't have to worry about this 16 anymore. Okay, just focus on using the big 20 here to help you be part of the three units. So of course, we go on to find one unit. One unit is eight, stick, uh, eight beads. Okay, finally, we can see what the question one. They want John at first. So John at first is the whole of John's model, which is one unit plus the shaded part. So one unit is eight, simply eight plus 20. Okay, so 